Broadcasting lies to the message of the TV screen With the incumbents of the crowd and the infinity We the red America has got no hope With the speed of the society dragging down the hole Bring back his television, go for every supervision Meet that was brought out and now makes the wrong decisions Tax paying dollars, phones are destruction to the corporate So after a night in Vegas, I find myself at Buffalo Bills Casino To see what's up with Desperado you know, you always have to have an extra 20 handy with you because you never know when that extra game might come along or a roller coaster ride for that matter. I don't think I ever realized that Las Vegas Boulevard actually started here in Prim. That's kind of cool actually. <laughs> right next to the right next to the roller coaster. <laughs> that is awesome. I mean, this arrow. <laughs> Seriously, what else more can I say about it? It is it was an interesting one. I actually have ridden it. It doesn't look like it's gonna be working today. Cause I remember like every time that I've ever came out here to Vegas and tried to catch a ride on the infamous Desperado, it's always like too windy. I mean, there's a light breeze right now and it's like, hasn't ran in a while from what I've been told. So highly doubt I'd be able to get on it anyway. Cause it just feels like it's too windy today. But this really is a cool arrow. I mean, look at that bunny hill over there. I mean, you definitely got some airtime on it. You know, I was totally like stoked I got to ride this. This is a cool ride. Let's go find out some more of it. Like I'll show you guys some more pieces of it. We'll go over to the lift hill and we'll go around it and see what else we can get. Maybe try to go inside too. Underneath that turnaround I showed you guys earlier. I mean, look at this thing. Such a cool ride really a shame that it's not working anymore maybe it is but i don't know as of right now i'm at the casino here's the self-parking it's definitely closed up so you know the future doesn't look good for one of the last arrow hypers around it's kind of funny how this like was inspired by cedar point though i mean i if cedar point didn't exist i highly doubt that this coaster wouldn't exist too so Let's get cruising, let's just go uh, try to find some more of it. So here's the backside. Um, it goes over. It goes through. Yeah, I have to go under a chain real quick. Let's show you some more. Awesome Buffalo Bill sign. I love that Buffalo head in the middle. <laughs> This one has like real freaking awesome turn there. All kinds of fun adventures in the desert today of abandoned places. You know? This rock mountain is really cool though. Good boat for that. There's the other part of it I showed you guys earlier. The sun's out, but it's actually decently cold. And I consider it starting to get cold when it gets into the 40s. And that's where we are right now. So, not like the 60s yesterday and people were saying it was cold. <laughs> Makes me laugh. Arrow awesomeness. Just back down over here, in front. You know? Let's go back into the cave right here. Maybe we'll get lucky and they'll RMC it. What do you guys think about that? Can you RMC an arrow? You know? This is a really cool coaster though. Really would love to ride that again. Very much so. This is part of the log side too. Cool how they were so close together. Yeah, you can definitely see rust marks on the track itself. It hasn't been ran for a long time. Bummer. This place is cool though man, like it has a lot of potential. Well let's go back and try to get the back side of the lift though. There's the freeway over there. And we're gonna cruise on back, so. More 
often than not, when you think of an arrow, you think of a janky transition. I mean, it looks like it goes right there, but it, like, I don't know how well you can see it in the video, but it's like totally kind of bent. So there's definitely a janky arrow transition there for sure. It just doesn't look right. That's okay. A good arrow is an arrow that beats you up, right guys? I would say so. I mean, geez, even my favorite, one of my favorite arrows, X2. If you don't come off after sore after a couple rides in X2, you did not ride that right. Same with Viper too. And here's where the train went back into the casino. That's kind of on the back side of the building. So I'm here in their Desperado underneath the lift hill. Found a way over here. It wasn't all blocked off, so I came back here. Check this out. It goes, you can actually go underneath it too. Then it goes into the into the cave over there. This is such a freaking awesome roller coaster. Love this. Sure, like having your room right, room right here, you would have heard of all the screams and stuff. But this is a super cool arrow. You know, just like arrows design in general, like how they build their lift hills. It's pretty amazing. I give them so much credit for everything that they did for everything that we all love here's where you come out of the tunnel from that huge drop on the lift hill come out of the tunnel right here go up oh, awesomeness seriously though this is such an awesome coaster you know i love hyper coasters especially like old aero ones i mean magnum is one of my favorite hyper coasters out of everything you know pretty awesome you know I turn around over there come back over here keep on going I do remember this ride being very rough though I'm not lying about that you know I mean it's in the middle of the desert so this thing's gotten all kinds of weather over the years but yeah super cool ride totally getting magnum vibes right now so much so I wonder if row 16 was the best row <laughs> just like on magnum Desperado belongs to the crows. It's now become a crow perch. But why isn't one of the birds on the rails? You know, they're all they're all in the support structure. Why aren't you guys hanging on the rail? Come on, go on the rail. <laughs> awesome ride. Well, everyone, this is the last part of it that I really haven't filmed. So I think that's gonna do it for this video. You know, thank you guys for watching the what's leftover footage of the Desperado roller coaster. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and always, you know, you don't know whatever I'm gonna be uploading next or where I'm gonna be going, finding all kinds of cool, awesome things, you know, especially roller coasters. You know, I really hope this isn't the last time I see Desperado. I hope you guys, you know, someone, someone watching or people who own Buffalo Bills, you know. Give her some TLC, you know, back, bring the Desperado back. This would be cool. You know, I don't want to see any more, any more arrows go away. I love arrows, like so much so. Like, you know, just the history behind arrow and how it all came about and just the massive, amazing, beautiful, crazy concoctions that they came up with coaster-wise have always been amazingly awesome, so. Thank you guys for watching. And like I said, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Peace out, and I'll see you in the next video. Just a Buffalo Bill and a Desperado hanging out in the Nevada desert. After visiting the roller coaster, I went to Tacos El Gordo to get some deliciousness. It's always awesome to see a place that's cutting the pastor off the spit. It makes for some really scrumptious pastor tacos, just like these ones right here. Full of flavor, just as much as the sope was. The sope was also super good. If you're in Vegas, check them out.